Hey mm -hmm. golfers, Drew Mahold here with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, uh, Master Club Fitter here at our Minnetonka Tour Van location. Thomas, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm excited to uh, fit myself a yeah. little bit here for possibly a new driver. Yeah, so we got the Ping G410 LST, TaylorMade M5, couple of great options, uh, very popular both uh, with amateurs and tour pros. Um, and Thomas is gonna kinda go through and sort of fit himself, uh, hit both models, and then from there kinda make a tweak or two and see which one works for him. Uh, what do you think we're gonna find today, Thomas? You know, I think we're gonna find out what the right loft is for me, right? You know, what the right, where the right spin rate is, mm -hmm. and also if I need to make any setting adjustments, whether that be draw or fade bias. Sure. All right, Thomas, we've got TaylorMade M5 and Ping G410 LST. Uh, can they compare the two models today? What are we starting with? Yeah, so first we're starting with the TaylorMade M5. Nine degrees, graphite design, BB6X. It's current the shaft that I play on my current gamer. Perfect. Okay, so I'll hit four to five shots with each one. One was a little miss hit. <laughs> so left the club face a little open on that one. We got to stop doing that. That one was not open. There we go. Worked out though. Baby fade. Yeah, that felt pretty good. Some low spin there too. Yeah, I've been uh, starting to kind of a little bit, hit a little straighter these days. Normally I, in the past, people would say, hey, you, you'd usually like to hit a little bit of a draw. Yeah. Over time, I've just straightened it out just a little bit. Um, and no idea what I'd love to hit it dead straight. Yeah. But right now I've, you know, I don't have the time to, to practice as sure. much as I would like. I'm just definitely trying to find, find the fairway. Try yeah. to hit as straight as I can. So. A little fade on that one. Maybe a little high on the face. After three shots now, um, what do you like about a TaylorMade M5 at a dress, feel, uh, etc.? Looking down at it, I, what I love about the TaylorMade M5 and M6 is this contrast between the silver and black helps mm -hmm. me line up a little bit straighter. Okay. So that's kind of, and off the face it feels, it doesn't feel like it's really loud and, and harsh or anything off the face. It feels you know, fairly soft, mm -hmm. um, but it feels like it's pretty hot. It feels like it's, you know, that second one I hit felt pretty like I was, it was going to go. So, I see. Yeah. Two more of this. Felt good. Got the little baby fade going today. That felt solid too. Oh yeah. All right, so that was five with the TaylorMade M5 in the neutral setting. Yep, all neutral standard settings there yep. to start well, actually with, with uh, both models here. I'll get you back over to the, uh, get you over to the G410 LST on the screen here. What I'm doing right now is I'm just using our all fit system that we've got here, um, changing a couple of cogs around so I can Use the same golf shaft um, and just change the two heads around. Keeping it at nine degrees aloft. And I know the G410 models this year added your kind of fade draw neutral bias uh, with their club heads, adding a little bit more adjustability. I'm sure you've done quite a bit of that with fitting this year uh, in those models as yeah, well. Yeah, it's definitely helped. Um, also with the ping driver, they also added that flatter lie, lie setting as well. Mm -hmm. For those people that do hook the ball, maybe a little flatter lie setting may help them hit a little sure. straighter as well. So definitely 
noticed this year with ping adjustability has been yeah. a, a big, big important piece to their um, fitting components. Mm -hmm. Okay, so five shots with the ping. How do you feel about the sort of, I mean, because Ping has got sort of their tubulators um, to kind of help you line you up. Yep. And TaylorMade's got the kind of that silver stripe up against the club face. What do you kind of think about the two? I think both of them do a great job. They both got that added alignment aid yeah. in there to help line myself up a little straighter. Um, this is, you know, Ping drivers. It's got a lot going on, obviously, with mm -hmm. on the top here. Um, I like the fact that it's, all kind of one one color, which is which is nice. Um, I think both of them help me. Both of them, I can hit, sit that club face pretty square. Yeah. Some other drivers, I do have a hard time to line that yeah. face up pretty straight. So I think this definitely helps. <laughs> Felt good. Interesting. Does that one maybe have a little bit of right to left on it? Uh, about one yard. <laughs> not, a, not a ton. A very little amount, yeah. Those uh, path and face angle numbers are pretty good. That's about as good as you can get right there. Yeah, that's why it flew nice and straight. Maybe had two yards on it. Notice any differences in feel compared to the M5 at this point? Um, not so much feel, but the ping sounds louder. Okay. It sounds louder than, yeah, than, than the tail made off the face. Especially inside. You can definitely notice it. It definitely echoes. That one, I felt like I hit it pretty good. That was interesting. Interesting, because yeah. usually when that club face is open, your spin's up higher. You kind of kept the spin low with that yeah. one. It was interesting when those other ones that were slightly drawing did not go as far. That one I felt like I crushed, but yeah, the spin rate was about 1,000 RPMs less than the last couple. That's a little spinnier. Yep. Yeah, having a hard time with the uh, spin today, actually. Spin okay, rate is yeah. just kind of ballooning up in the air a little bit. Minus the two shots that got over 300, I think the spin rate was you know, fairly, fairly high. So hit location probably, you know, if we, if we jump, just take a quick look and see. Yeah. Um, yeah, what would you do as a fitter now, given, uh, let's say, you have you're fitting somebody for these two models and these are the shots that they put up there. This is kind of the process you'd go through, see what? Yeah, so I'd, com I'd compare the two numbers between, between them. Um, if we look here, both of them were kind of hitting the same spot. The ping consistently was hitting, getting hit just a little high, ever so slightly tall. Taylor made high, mm -hmm. ever so slightly tall. So we know, you know, this, this shaft that we've got right here is 45 inches. The fact that I was hitting it smack right in, in the middle probably wouldn't change the length of the shaft. Sure. So if I was hitting it on the heel, maybe going a little shorter would probably be a, a good option with the driver shaft. If I was hitting it on the toe, maybe going a little, possibly a little bit right. uh, longer just to try and make sure we're hitting it right in the, in the sweet spot. Um, so we know length is, wet and length is good. Um, if we were gonna compare differences between the two of them, I'd definitely look at the left screen and look at consistency. Um, so we'll notice, you know, I've got a grouping here of some pretty nice straight shots here with the ping, but not going quite as far. Those ones were spinning a little bit more. Right. We had the one interesting one that, yeah. I know I hit it good, but I left the face slightly, slightly open. And then you've got kind of a little more consistent pattern, but notice all these white dots were, you know, a little bit more separated between, between, the, between the two of them there too. So 
So what kind um, of tweaks are you looking at now, given what you see in the data uh, for each model? All right, so club speed with both of them about 110 miles an hour. I'm not going to dive into the golf shaft um, change up today. Um, I already know that I've played this golf shaft for the last four or five years, so I'm pretty comfortable with, with, my, with my golf shaft from previous fittings. Mm -hmm. Um, I always look at look at ball speed. So if we look here, the ping was getting about three mile an hour more ball speed. So the smash factor was kind of a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. um, launch angle between them, you know, we're both 12 and 13 degrees. You know, I, it's pretty ideal. Mm -hmm. We want to be about 10 to 15 degrees with with my speed. Um, spin with the ping, as I mentioned, these four here were spinning. You know, minus the one that was 2,000, yeah, 34, yeah. 31, 33,000, 2,900. So they were spinning a little bit too much because they were spinning a little too much. The height, you know, got a little bit higher on those. We noticed the one that spun at 2,000 RPMs, notice the, the height was right at 100 feet. So a loft would probably be one thing I would probably look at tweaking a little bit is actually going down a loft. I'm very efficient okay. at hitting up on the ball. My attack angle here, you know, is about one degree positive. So we could probably get away with a little less loft to okay. try and reduce the spin and then also, okay. you know, reduce the height a little bit between the two. And both of them were going about, on average, about 120 feet in the air with the, the one, both of them having with that, those one outlier that did spin at 2,000 mm -hmm. going about 100 feet in the air. So now we just got to decide which head we like. Um, a lot of that comes down to personal look looking down at it and also seeing n number wise I personally like the ping driver head mm -hmm. just a little bit a um, little bit better because I could um, line myself up a little bit straighter what I would be recommending is going down and left so that this is try going all the way so we'll just make one kind of tweak mm -hmm. here today so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this driver down to about seven and a half degrees left just to see if I can reduce that spin and get okay. a little more consistent lower spin rate. Okay, so let's just hit a couple and see if this changes anything to do with the spin rate. <laughs> Love to get that consistently closer to that 2,000 to 2,500 right. mark rather than those ones that were spinning a little bit higher. So what do you get for, I mean, what is the actual loft now? Seven and a half degrees. Seven and a half, okay. Yep. And if I didn't leave the face open, that one would have been. <laughs> <laughs> it went a little further, but still left that face open. That felt good. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, decrease that spin rate. <laughs> yep, that got under 2,000. A little more of a tumbler there. Interesting there, was the face a little bit open on that one as well? It was, yep. It was a degree and a half open. It felt solid. Okay. So we noticed we picked up a little bit of distance there with regards to less loft, a little less spin. We had a couple here that were spinning yeah. closer to our kind of ideal numbers. However, we notice once I went down a loft, notice I'm still missing it out to the right. Right. So the last tweak I would be considering with this one is probably sliding this weight into the heel to make it kind of a little more draw okay. bias at seven and a half degrees of loft. All right, so now I'm just sliding the weight in the heel. Let's just see if, I, if this yeah, fine tune here. just gets me to maybe turn this thing over just a little, little bit more here. A 
not solid. Spin stayed low, which is good. Direction, not so much. That was solid. There you go. All right, let's see one, a couple more. Good. Oh, yeah. There you go. So it straightened out a little bit. It definitely did. Um, also, that was probably the best one I've hit today, too. So it that would be one. It was. Probably a point where I'd say, hey, we reduced the spin, we straightened out a little bit. Both of those gave mm -hmm. us huge, huge gains. I think this is a winner today. We yeah. definitely, you know, follow up and maybe do a follow up fitting if we need to make any other tweaks at all. Sure. But I think this would be a great um, adjustment for me, for sure. All right, Thomas, you hit TaylorMade M5, ping G410 LST. Uh, you were questioning if you'd go over 300 yards, and several of those shots are over 300 yards, uh, just like some of those bombers out on the PGA Tour. Um, but at, at the end of the day, it was the ping G410 LST kind of is what you fit yourself for. Um, is this kind of what you expected? Uh, what, what would you think about the results? Yeah, so, you know, it came down to which one I was maybe hitting a little bit straighter and then trying to make a little bit of a, a, an adjustment. Visually looking down, setting up both of the two of them, I just kind of like the, the look of the ping just a little bit, little bit better. There's maybe just a little bit mm -hmm. less going on with color-wise. Um, I feel like I had a little bit to work with to try and reduce the spin. This thing was already going pretty straight, so I just wanted to maybe tweak it a little bit to see if I could pick up a little bit of yardage. Right. We, reduced the sp we reduced the loft on the club, so I went from seven, nine degrees to seven and a half degrees. We noticed the spin rate dropped down. However, I was still leaving it out to the right, which is a shot that you know, I'm not really a fan mm -hmm. of. So at the end here, we hit cup two or three shots here where I put the weight in this drawer, drawer setting here. And we noticed the ball started to stay a little bit straighter here for me today. Mm -hmm. Wasn't probably the best swings that I've had, you know, on, on some of the videos here, but it was a, a enabled me to straighten it out a little bit. Not, I'm not always going to swing it perfect. Right, yeah. and I think the last shot you hit was probably the best one of the entire, you know, video. So yep. that kind of tells me, I know that's kind of your sort of, um, the sign in a fitting is kind of, all right, that's the club that we're going to go with. Yeah, especially when you get towards the end of a fitting. You know, if you hit a driver fitting, you can hit up to 40 or 50 driver yeah. swings. It's a lot. So if you see something towards the end, you know, why not finish on something that really, there really feels comfortable and really, really goes really well? Absolutely. Well, golfers out there, if you're interested in G410 LST or TaylorMade M5, um, I would encourage you to step into a Second Swing store or visit us online at secondswing.com and uh, contact one of our fitters, such as Thomas Campbell here. And uh, we'll get you fit for a driver and probably help you pick up some yards. Uh, Thomas, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Drew.